We all remember that first smartphone. Maybe for you it was an iPhone 4 or 5. Some people still use them, but not for much longer. Viewer Elizabeth McBride forwarded this email from her carrier, Consumer Cellular, and it says the phone she uses does not have 3G capability and she needs to get a new phone by the end of August. She wants to know why. These cell towers like the one behind me, well, they carry the 3G and the 4G network, but the wireless carriers are all upgrading their towers to 5G. It's a lot faster, so they need more bandwidth. And to do that, they're going to have to shut down the 3G network all over the country. So long story short, if you have an older phone that does not connect to 4G, it's not going to work at all. AT&T says it'll shut down its 3G network in February of next year. Verizon, T-Mobile, Sprint will wait until December of 2022. So which phones won't connect? It's a pretty long list. But if you have an iPhone 5S or older, it will no longer work. With some exceptions. In fact, if your phone is older than seven years, you will likely have to buy a new one. Now, you should be able to tell by looking in the upper right hand corner of the screen on your phone if it says 4G or LTE, your phone will keep working. And some people still use those older phones, especially those who only use a phone as a phone. Maybe check email. If that's you, you can still find some flip phones that will connect to the 4G network for under 50 bucks. That's what the tech. I'm Jamie Tucker.